Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on different products that I personally love to use on my skin because I have really oily skin. And I feel like for the longest, I was always having problems because like I, I've said before in my other video, I live in Arizona and it's super hot. I'm like, ugh, dripping sweat all the time. And I'm like, I go outside, I'm like, okay girl, okay, you look good. And then just for a moment, I'm just like, and then I'm like, go back inside it's madness so I've discovered some products about a year or so ago or recently that have so oh they're just the best so if you would like to know which products I use for my oily skin then keep on watching so I'm going to start with how I prime my face first so when I use primer this right here is everything Literally, it is about, I believe it's $25 for this. You can go ahead and get it like at Ulta. And it's the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. Now, this is super good. I get really oily in my T-zone, especially on my eyebrows and my nose. So before I do my makeup at all, I get some of this and I put it on my nose, over my forehead and over my eyebrows and it really helps so much I mean it's amazing and I there is this other primer that I've used before that's really good which I don't have it right now but I'll go ahead and tell you guys about it anyways just in case you're interested it is the hourglass primer it's the veil primer and it's like a white it's like a it's white looking like you you can see through the bottle it's white and um you go ahead and put that on your skin and I'm so serious right now it was it's awesome but the only thing is it's about 50 bucks for the small bottle and 70 for the bigger bottle so it is on the pricier side but if you are looking for something that's not too pricey and you're an oily person this is for you it's $25 and trust me you look at the bottle and you're like girl what are you thinking no like this lasts me a long time like I'm being so serious right now it's definitely worth it so you should definitely go out and get this if you need it get it okay then after I prime my face you know I put my foundation on and the foundation I love using yeah my you can tell I use this a lot because I dropped it and it looks a little crusty so sorry but it's, it's usually like in a very pretty bottle. It's the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. And this is literally so good. Like when I put it on my face, it helps me not be too oily. It's not like a dewy, oily consistency. It's actually very matte. And I love that about this. So if you are looking for a good foundation, this bottle right here, it's about 40 bucks. And it lasts me a long time. So it's definitely worth the money as well. So the Kat Von D Locket Foundation is for you. Okay. And then when I do my eyeshadow, oh, speaking of before that, what I set my face with, this guy right here. Now, let me tell you a little something about this guy. Airspun is literally just, <laughs> when I discovered this a couple years ago, I was on YouTube one time actually, and I was watching this lady, and so sorry that I do not remember her name. It's been a long time, but she had told me about this, well, she didn't tell me, she told, you know, her everybody that watches their YouTube video but she said this was amazing for oily skin and she was right so when I'm done putting my primer on then I put my foundation on I go ahead and I grab this and I literally pat I'm like just like putting it all over my face I don't even care like it really works um if I were you there's different shades that they have but if you're like me where you like to use it all over your face and you don't want to be left with like a powder consistency all over your face something that's just like oh you look you look like you do some flour on your face or something like that then you're better off getting the translucent powder that they have so don't get one of the shade ones get the translucent powder because that's something that will not leave a film on your face that's what I use so this right here is the best okay and when I go to do my eyeshadow I use this right here the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion <sighs> so good like literally I would do my eyeshadow and I mean if you're oily you know what I'm talking about I'll literally walk outside and I'm going out for a great day and like, oh my god like your eyeshadow is so pretty look down and I'm like <gasps> girl oh my god that's so embarrassing I'm like I'm so sorry I promised you when I did my eyeshadow this morning it was on fleek 
but it's not anymore, clearly. It was all creased and greasy looking, and I'm just like, <sighs> but this right here definitely helps you. Now, not only do I put this on my eyelids, I also, right after putting this on my eyelids, I get my airspun again, and I go ahead and get like a flat beauty blender that I have and I pat it on my eyes on top of the primer potion. And then if I have any excess airspun, I dust it off. But adding that extra layer of airspun on top of the primer potion definitely helps with creasing. And I'm so serious. And trust me, it doesn't affect anything of blending eyeshadows or anything like that. So you'll be perfectly fine just putting the airspun on top and then right after just starting your eyeshadow. And that's what I do. Then... For my eyebrows, I love eyebrows. They're like my everything. And literally, the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade is the best. And I know most people are like, girl, what does this have to do with oily skin? Oh, it has to do with everything. Because when I get oily, I like to overdraw my eyebrows a little bit because I have really thin eyebrows. So I like to sometimes just add a little bit on top. And when you get oily, it just wants to smear. Nobody wants to smear an eyebrow. I know I don't. So I know you don't. And this right here can definitely help you. It's like hairspray. It sticks to the face. It's super good. Like, I use the shade Ebony. If you can see my eyebrows right here. I use the shade Ebony. And it is a really dark shade. So if you have darker hair like I do, but you don't want to go that dark, they have medium brown and dark brown as well, which I've used both of those shades. And they're actually really good as well. So you can go ahead and do that. And of course... If you're blonde or if you have like auburn hair, they have shades for those as well. So if I were you, I'd go and check this out. This is about $18 and it's very good. Then once I'm done with my whole face, I love, absolutely love this. Now I'm telling you, I can bathe in this if I could because that's how great it is. This is the All Nighter Urban Decay Setting Spray. Now... When I said the Anastasia is hairspray for your brows, this is hairspray for your face. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I bathe in it. I'm like, <laughs> I feel great. But the thing is, is when you go to the store, you'll see that there's, if you go to like Sephora or something, they have a spray called the Urban Decay D Slick Spray. Don't even get me started because when I went over there, I was like, okay, like D slick that's for oily skin, right? Which it is. It's for oily people. So I grabbed it, you know, I used it and I used it for a while. I was like, okay, this spray is good. But like my eyeshadow was still creasing and stuff. And I'm like, there's got to be more to life than this. So I eventually discovered this one and I was like, wow, Urban Decay, you like straight up lied to us oily people because this right here is actually better for oily skin than the D-Slick. So if I were you, stop buying the D-Slick one and get the all-nighter spray because it is great. It's beyond amazing. Let's just say that, okay, which is one of my favorite words. So if I say beyond amazing more than about six times in my videos, I apologize because that just seems to be an amazing phrase of mine or something. But this is great. So those are just some products that I found over the time that I've been doing my makeup and they have really helped me because back then when I was younger, you know, I was just using typical products, whatever. I was like, okay, this foundation doesn't really matter what I get, right? But then I'm like, um, no, it does matter because I did my makeup and I literally look like a grease ball. I was like, okay, this isn't cute. Like what's going on here? So that's when I started searching out for different primers and different setting sprays and powders. And the, the products that I have shown you are literally the best products I've ever found. Now, I'll go ahead and tell you guys one more time just so you can know the price and the names of things. This right here, Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. Oh, excuse me. Pore Minimizing Primer, $25, okay? Not too bad, especially since it lasts a long time. Remember that. Then I have my crusty looking all ghetto person, Kavon D Locky Foundation. I promise when you buy it, it looks cuter than this. It is 40 bucks. And like I said, it will last you a long time as well. You can get this at Sephora. Then I have the Airspun, which I believe, oh my gosh, I'm having like a brain fart right now. But I believe it's about $12, $10. But I am so serious right now. Like it lasts you a long time and it comes with like this little puffy powder thing. Which I just honestly take that out and just beat my face with it. Like literally. 
So if you want to go ahead and get that, that's $12. You can find it at a Walmart. They usually have a good amount, depending on which Walmart you're going. You know how Walmart is. But yeah, you can definitely find that. And if you're desperate and it's not at your Walmart or anywhere like that, you can go ahead and find it online as well. They sell it on there. And then we have the Anastasia Dip Brow that is $18. And I know most people use their own brow brush, but if you're also interested, they have a brush called the Brush 12. And it's super precise. It's by Anastasia. It comes with the spoolie and everything. If you really want a good brow brush, you should definitely invest in that brush because it's very good. I believe the brush is about $12. But it's definitely worth it. I promise you. And then I have the Primer Potion. They have a smaller size. It's like a travel size. This is the big size. But it lasts you a really long time. But honestly, so does the travel size. So if you only do your eyeshadow every once in a while, but you want something great, you should get this. They have a smaller size, I think, for about $12, bucks, 15 This one's for about $30. But either way, it's worth it. And then, last but not least, the greatest, is the All Nighter Spray. And it is $30. They have a travel size one as well for $15. But the only thing about that is the travel size is less than half of this bottle. And you're paying half. If that makes sense so you get more out of your buck for getting this one and like I said it lasts you a very long time and it's definitely worth it if you want your makeup to stay on all day and just be like stuck to the face it's worth it so those are the products that I use on a daily basis just to keep this grease monkey you know tamed tame the beast but that goes in and it helps me out so much. And I just really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching with me. Bye, guys.